Hello and welcome back to Viking Conquest and our Iron Man challenge. Now when we left off we had, well, successfully captured something and then we were running around attempting to try and fight off a bunch of vassals because unfortunately I decided to plunder the thief that I captured and as a result it rendered it kind of useless for a very long period of time and I wasn't able to quote unquote wait there for some time and as a result I had to be kind of risky. I had to run around in the area and all that stuff and I couldn't really do much. Then our liege decided to give us ownership o over the uh, over the fief in question and so I decided okay I'm gonna start transferring units back and forth from Beartilled Barrow over to our castle or settlement as the case may be and uh, now we have about 80 units in there. I have about 200 in my army as you can see here and I am attempting to take this Mias town. If I can do this, we will be in a really, really good position. If I can't, well, then we'll be in a bad position. That's basically how it's gonna go. We'll see if I can maybe do something here. Ah, yes, I, I seem to remember that someone actually told me something about memorizing divisions and placements and so on and so forth. And that's definitely something that I want to do. I, I have done that in the past, but I tend to forget to do that more often than not, especially in Viking Conquest, because I kind of want to just get into the action and uh, try and achieve some kind of good strategic victory, you know, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, the point is, is that we have some spearmen, yeah, we got 10 of them, and we got some, uh, we got some uh, infantry right there. Where are my skirmishers? There they are. Okay, so th there's the skirmishers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get our people into a decent position here. So I will put my infantry over there. My spearmen will go a little bit behind. Skirmishers will be about here. Archers will be about here. And our cavalry... Well, we have horse archers, actually, don't we? Um, maybe I should tell them to dismount, to be fair. Mm, I'm not entirely sure about that, to be fair. Mm, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to memorize division placement... I think this is pretty decent, so let's do that. There we go, and that is all memorized. So every single time we now do hold position, our units will attempt to do exactly what I have told them to. Ah, yes, one thing that I did actually forget to do is put my infantry in a shield wall formation, which is unfortunate. That's pretty bad. So what we're going to do is, once again, we are going to... Uh, I don't think this is going to work now. <laughs> don't think this is going to work now, but we kind of had to uh, make a, well, make some kind of action happen because otherwise it's going to be this kind of thing happening where we have a bit of a stalemate and, uh, well, it's probably not a good idea for me to do the division placement in this scenario because we're just going to suffer greatly from my negligence, aren't we? So, yeah, let me see if I can uh, maybe do something here. Let's get our spearmen a little bit closer. And these guys are going to want to attack. So let's just move them in a little bit. Let's tell them to stand a little bit closer as well. And I think we should be able to achieve some kind of victory here. We'll tell them to go in there. And I'm going to try and deal as much damage as I can to their skirmishers. Try and take them down as best I can. Oh, no! Ah, get me out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're still... They're still quite dangerous, that's the point. They're still quite dangerous. Gonna tell my horse archers to charge in now as well. I think I probably want to get them over here, actually. So we're gonna tell them to charge over in this direction, and then hopefully they'll be able to deal enough damage to the enemy's skirmishers. Even though these skirmishers are not really doing that much, they are going to be much easier for our units to take care of than anything else. And I don't really want to tell my skirmishers to charge in, so I will just tell them to uh, hold position and uh, skirmish with them, or at least try to skirmish as best they can. Let's see if that actually works out to our favor. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Our archers are... are they doing okay? I actually don't know. But I think that we're, we're decimating them quite nicely. Uh, I think we do need to get my horse archers to pull back though. And I'm actually going to pull back my spearmen and all those other people. I'm actually just going to go all and then get everyone back here as best we can. So hopefully that's going to work out quite nicely. I just don't want to go all the way into their lines and just continue to take damage. Seems like we do have a couple of horsemen that are getting a little bit stuck there, which is not great. Mm, that was a nice kill. 
Did you see that? Oh yes, that was a very nice kill indeed. Got to be very careful though because the units coming in will have superior amounts of thrown weapons. They will be resupplied, they will be ready to deal the amount of damage that they need to deal to kill me and hopefully we will be able to prevent that from happening. Uh, so far so good though. So far so good. Let's not let's let's not let's not count our chickens yet because that usually uh, you know that kind of thing me saying that usually does mean that we'll probably end up dying massively. Anyway, let's see if we can tell these guys to attack the enemy cavalry. Ugh. Yeah, did not really want that. But oh well, I, I guess it might be okay. Is that the leader? I think that might be the leader right there. If I can kill the leader, then yes, there we go. That was the leader. Fantastic. That's very good. And as you can see, they seem to be running around with a lot of peasants right now, which is really, really good. And uh, I'm thinking we'll probably just go in. Uh, you, where, where, where are my guys? There, there they are. Okay, so spearmen, you can attack there. Hopefully, we're not going to lose too many cavalry. But it probably will happen. I mean, we're, we're having them charge in. Oh, yes. They are the archers. The archers are now being preyed upon by something. Ooh, these veterans. Ah, these veterans are going to cause a bit of a problem for us. But it's all right. It's all right. We'll, we'll try and... Ooh, okay. Got to be a bit careful. Got to be a bit careful. I think this is the... Uh, the rest of the forces of the of our opponent. I don't think they have anything else. So I think this is going to be a very, very nice victory for us. If we can continue to deal damage to them, then we should have a nice victory without too many casualties. And it might even result in us being able to continue our siege against one of their towns. That was what I was attempting to do here. And, uh, well... <laughs> Uh, as you can no doubt uh, tell, it did get interrupted pretty badly. But, as you can see, we are victorious. I'm actually wondering whether we're going to be able to get a good amount of renown from this. But, whatever the case, I hope we'll get some good trophies as well. And, there you go. 23 renown. Ugh. I was actually hoping for a little bit more than that, but oh well. Anyway, we did take quite serious casualties. We took 42 casualties. What did we mainly lose, though? Let's actually have a look. Yeah, we lost archers. That is the thing that we mostly lost. Personally, I really don't mind about losing the 12 archers. I think, personally, archers are... Uh, they have their time and place, definitely. But for me, I personally feel like they are outmatched by a wide variety of other units like the heavy infantry for example because they're just going to block every single arrow that comes towards them and then they're just going to you know cut them down basically but anyway ah that guy managed to escape Ugh. yes that's even worse isn't it yes it's even worse okay well let's just try and take as many of these guys prisoners as i can get my hands on and wow i can actually take all of them i believe that is really nice and let's share the loot. Ah, there we go. We got a war trophy. That's fantastic. Bear in mind that I was actually going to go over to a bandit camp. I, I did go to one bandit camp already, as you can no doubt tell from my inventory being a little bit less full. And uh, I completely cleared them out. They gave me about 6,700 for the loot there. And uh, then uh, I tried to go to another one uh, in uh, West Sea Axe territory. You know that one, the, uh, the Viking Long Fort place. And they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything. They were completely bankrupt, so I have no idea. But I guess we'll just have to uh, spend a little bit of time potentially waiting, and then we'll see whether we can get something from that. So there we go. Ah, uh, yes, Kayo is having a problem with Beta. Okay. Uh, ah, Beta is a Christian? Oh, okay. Tell Beta you have my support. I thought, I thought he might actually be uh, pagan, but I think that that is Asbjorn. I think he's the... The, uh, the pagan priest, I think. But anyway, uh, tell Beta you have my support in this and he shall hold his tongue. I'm just going to keep him around for as long as I possibly can because he is still a useful companion. He still has four in engineering. I don't think anyone else has any engineering or at the very least has a very small amount. And as a result, that's pretty bad. Now, I do have a couple of Norse units right here because someone actually said to me that I should get some Frisian units. And, uh, yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree, but they do take a long time to level up. So, obviously, that is going to be a bit of an issue. So, now, this is uh, this is the thing I was attempting to do. I was attempting to take this. As you can see, it's got 93 
in the garrison here. And personally, I feel like we would be quite easily able to take this if we can get inside. Because you can see here they're still building the ladders. Let's actually see what happens. The, the game moves so fast when you're building siege. It's really, really harsh. Okay. Uh, one of your men deserted. Oh, well, let's offer 800 to minimize temptation because that's going to give us some... some uh, Nice morale. Actually gives us some, some, some uh, renown as well, which is pretty good. Ah, okay. So there we go. Prepare the assault. We lost six for that, which is not great. All right. So now we can lead our soldiers in an assault. Now, here's the thing. We don't have that many. But the thing is, is that if I... If I wait, it's going to result in one of those situations where... If I wait, then there's going to be another vassal that will come out of the woodwork and will basically be like, hello there, I have a frying pan. I'm going to hit you across the face with this frying pan and you won't get any sausages or eggs or any of that wonderful stuff that, uh, you know, people might like to eat at around this time. But anyway, the point is, is that that is going to happen if I wait a little bit longer. So I'm going to lead our soldiers in an assault right now and hopefully we will be able to achieve something here. I'm very worried about this, admittedly, because, let's face it, there's not... Oh, they're actually coming out. Okay. We might actually have a better chance. If they if they come out here, we might have a better chance of things. Bear in mind now that because I have some lighter armor on as well, which is actually really good, is uh, that's going to mean that we will have greater chances of... Uh, Moving fast and uh, avoiding all kinds of damage and things like that. I think that would be pretty nice. So let's just get my people into a, a relatively decent formation. I don't think you can actually memorize things in a siege. No, you can't memorize things in a siege. Well, that's unfortunate, but well, what can you do? Now, hopefully my skirmishers and various other units will be able to kill people from this range. Oh, they actually came out, but now they've gone back inside. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, that's kind of that's kind of to be expected, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of to be expected. Ah, it seems like you can actually enter this particular settlement from the side. Which I gotta say, looks to be our best bet. Probably. Take out that guy, thank you very much. I've gotta remember that in Viking Conquest, most of the... Mm, shall we say attack speeds that you have... Oh, hello. How dare you. Most of the attack speed that you're going to be seeing in this mod is very very slow in comparison to others and I'm used to things like Pendor and, uh, and stuff like that being much much faster because obviously your proficiency is just incredibly high there in comparison to here but uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, deal with it relatively nicely so let's get my spe spearmen skirmishers and all that stuff over in this direction should we just tell them to charge in not sure about that to be honest if I tell them to charge in, they're just going to attack with reckless abandon, and they might very well take more casualties as a result. And that's not going to be very good. Take him down. Take this guy down. He's doing too much damage. Thank you. There we go. Take that guy down. Ooh, decapitation as well. Ooh. He's, uh, you could say that he lost, uh, you know, I was going to say he lost his cool, but yeah, that, that doesn't really make much sense, you know, because obviously if you lose your head, you lose your cool kind of thing. Ugh. Yeah, stupid joke. Oh, well. Whatever the case. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to die here. Yes, run away from me. Yes, you do not want to deal with the bear tilled. Yes, there we go. That's what you get. Okay, you're going to try and deal some damage to me right here. Let's tell my spearmen to charge in now as well. I should probably tell my, my skirmishers to get in here too. And uh, personally, I feel like Viking Conquest has a lot more, shall we say, tactical combat. When you're actually fighting, you're not just running in and uh, attempting to do as... Well, I mean, you are attempting to do as much damage as possible, but you're not running in recklessly. You're weighing up every single attack that you try to do. Because, let's face it, if you make a wrong move in this DLC slash mod, because I actually call it a mod because technically it is, it is a paid mod. But, you know, anyway, the point is, is that in this, it is paramount that you don't take that much damage. Because uh, let's just say that I actually kept bleeding on, because I actually turned off bleeding at the very beginning of the series, because I remember 
having situations where I was in a siege and I would get hit once and I'd, get, I'd take like, I don't know, uh, tw I don't know, 20, 30 damage or something like that from some hit or another. And then my character would start to bleed and as a result, it would then uh, just basically tick down and I would continue bleeding and taking one damage every few seconds. And as a result, I'd then get eliminated. And while that is realistic, 100%, you know, I, I, give, I give it that, it is kind of realistic in that respect, it does kind of ruin the whole Iron Man thing. Because if I get, if I get bleeding on me, then I kind of have to either retreat or face losing. So it's kind of a, a bit a bit of a weird weird thing going on there, but oh well, never mind. I, I suppose it's uh, I suppose it's pretty decent. And look at that. We actually have exactly 79 prisoners. That's pretty crazy. All right. So we're going to share the loot now, and I will take as much as I can. I'm only going to take these things actually because I don't think there's that much more that can actually sell for about the same. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to conquer the town, but we are not going to plunder and we are going to record. Oh, wow. We gain some reputation, but we lose 15 morale. We can get that morale back by going into the Mead Hall, though, which is absolutely fine. Request that uh, the town be awarded to us. Yes, that is what I will be doing. Let's do it. There we go. All right, so let's go into the Mead Hall now. Uh, there is a happy widow. There's a watchman. Ransom. Bro <gasps> Lucky. Lucky. You are. Go yes. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. There you go. 3,400. Very nice indeed. Let's, uh, let's recruit those guys. Let's raise some morale here. Now that is done, it is time for us to leave the town and see what we can do here. So I'm actually just going to wait here for some time because what I would like to do is potentially if they decide... Oh, hello, hello. Someone wants to attack. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of hilarious. This guy literally only has 41 in his army, which is just kind of insane. Uh, let me wait, wait a minute. Where do I want to go again? Yeah, I want to go in. Let's level up these guys. Oh, I actually did level up. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so let's actually see what I can uh, spec into here. I'm thinking that Power Strike might be kind of cool. Riding skill is probably going to be really important for us as well. So I'm thinking about that. What about my pathfinding skill? Are we the ones that are doing path? No, Kayo. Kayo is doing pathfinding at the moment. So that's actually not a big deal. Uh, inventory management might be really, really useful for us. Spotting skill, not so much. Persuasion is kind of good as well. Uh, yeah. mm. Weapon maintenance. I haven't had a weapon break in this just yet, so don't really need that. Guess I'm going to go for another point in riding. And we will go for another point in power strike, I guess. And let's just increase my throwing weapon proficiency a little bit. That seems about right. And uh, where where is, where is the... Uh, where is the bandit camp? Ah, there's the renegades camp up there. But unfortunately, I won't be able to leave this alone. Ah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I could fight this guy, but I kind of want to... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Hey there. Well, to be honest, I think I'm probably going to have to leave this fief alone and I will have to retreat because there are just too, there are just too many. I mean, here's the thing. If I had maybe another hundred or so units, I might be able to do it. But because this town is so incredibly open, it's just going to be insanely difficult for me, be, for me to be able to defend it. If it was a good defensive structure, then... I think it would be probably be game over for them, but uh, it is just going to be way too difficult. So I'm actually just going to leave it for the moment. Unfortunately, I would have loved to have stayed and uh, taken it on, but I I just don't think so. I just don't think so. I think it's too too risky, and I'm going to head back down and uh, see what I can do there. But I think for now that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.